everyone. Today we are making methi chanan. Honestly, I tried this in a restaurant and oh my god, it tastes so delicious. This is a restaurant style methi chanan. Now, as you can see, there is washed palak, one bunch, washed methi, half bunch, grated paneer. I've taken two whole paneer and two small medium chopped onions. Now, along with this, we also need two chilies that is chopped. I have one teaspoon dhania powder, one teaspoon ginger garlic paste, one teaspoon roasted jeera powder, one teaspoon jeera, and half a teaspoon garam masala. Well, as you can see here, the water is boiling. I've added half spoon of salt into it. Now we are going to add um, chopped methi into it. I'm also adding the washed palak into this. It doesn't need to be boiled a lot, just exactly three to four minutes is enough. As you can see, it's been exactly three minutes. Now I'm going to lower the flame and strain this in a cold water. It's in the cold water so it retains its color. As you can see, I've added three spoons of oil into it, in the pan. Let's add the jeera, chopped chili. Let's toss it for a second until the jeera crackles. Now we'll add the chopped onions. Let's fry the onions in low flame. Well, you can see onions are taking its own time. While the onions are frying, I've added the palak and made the, the one which we have blanched in the blender to make a fine paste. Add little water into it. I'm sure you would agree with me, cooking in low flame is the key for any tasty recipe. Let's add ginger garlic paste. Now I'm adding all the other masalas, dhania powder. Jira powder and garam masala, salt as per your taste, just a little bit of chili powder. Mix well. Now I'm adding the palak methi paste into it. Mix it and cook it for one to two minutes. Cook it in a low flame and ensure the oil is getting released. As you can see, the oil is released. I'm adding half a cup of water. Cook for another two minutes. I love kasuri methi, so I'm adding into it. It's your choice. As you can see that the palak is cooked well, let's add the grated paneer into it. I'm mixing it well. Now the three ingredients that I'm going to add are must into this curry. So one tablespoon of ghee and one spoon of butter. I have fresh cream here. I'm going to add that. Mix it well. Let's serve this hot hot. You can eat it with hot pulkas. Here you go. Healthy. Delicious, yummy methi chaman is ready. Honestly, just try this once. You will make it again and again.